Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialist in SharePoint. In this video, we will try to understand what is Visual Studio Workspace, how we can create it, and how how we can how we can add existing folder to an workspace. So, in my previous video, I have explained about how we, what is a Visual Studio code, how we can uh, download and install that. Have a look at the video. I'll put that in. Uh, in the video description. So now let us see what is Visual Studio Code Workspace. A Visual Studio Code Workspace can contain multiple files and folders. Basically, it contains the root folders and it will be having a configuration file as well, which is known, which is in the format of dot code hyphen workspace. And uh, it is nothing but a JSON file, which will be having some configuration information Apart from that, it also contains the location of the root folders, which belongs to this particular workspace. Now, it although it differentiate from a folder is that it it will be having some customization settings that you can uh, put, uh, as well as the preferences for a particular workspace. Now, let me open uh, my E drive. So, if you'll see here, now this is a drive I have in E drive. I'll create a folder. I will say development and I'll create one more folder also. I will say, let's say test cases. And I will create one more folder, which is the design documents, let's say. Now what I'll do is I will open my Visual Studio. So you can see here, I'll open my Visual Studio. First thing what we will do is um, you can see here some untitled all these things are coming so you can go to file and uh, click on close workspace so just say don't say save and you will get a blank uh, now visual studio code home page and on this first of all go to file and then uh, open folder and in this case I will select the development folder you can see here I'll click on select folder now you can see here development comes here and what I will do now is I will go to file and I will say save workspace as so once you save it go back here and on this one I will say TS info workspace and I will click on save so you can see here I clicked on save I'll go here file and I'll say close workspace will close the visual studio as well now if you'll see here there is a TS info workspace uh, file that that uh, file created now you can open it in visual studio code as well so, sorry you can open it in a notepad also so i'll uh, open a notepad and i will just drag the file here you can see here now it is saying the folder path is this development you can see here we have one folder development that's why it is showing now next thing is you can open this workspace directly so if you will see here now I'll click on open you can see here now it open this TS info workspace and you have the development folder here if you want to add folder into this workspace you can go to file add folder into workspace I will put the design document I'll go again I will say add folder to workspace test cases so you can see here all my three folders are here you can go to the development you can create f files over here for example i will say hello.html file you can see here one hello.html file got created in the development folder over here now if i will go to this uh, this location my physical location and i will try to open this workspace file now so you can see here now you can see here it is showing me three folders we have in that root directory so this way you can have multiple or the root folders in a workspace but i always prefer to create a folder and then work everything on that i will show you in the next video but anytime you can uh, close this workspace you can see here this is your blank visual studio code and if you want to open a workspace, either you can go to this physical location, you can double click on that, or you can go to file 
and you can see here open workspace click on this and then you can select the workspace click on open once you do that you can see here this is the same workspace is opening you can go to each folder and you can add your additional files folders anything you can do that so thank you and if you like the video subscribe to our youtube channel you will get a lot of free videos on that on office 365 sharepoint azure microsoft flow power apps so power bi all these technologies microsoft technologies you will get and these are our website twitter handles and linkedin and facebook pages to visit and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you and have a nice day